today we're going to talk about using the buttons to control the interface in the DIR-685. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So today what we have is the final episode on our DIR-685. This is our router that uh, has a built-in storage, has a display on it, can do all kinds of nifty things that I've covered in the past few episodes of D-Link TV DIY. Um, what I wanted to cover this time was the actual interface on the front of the router and uh, how to use the buttons to you know, get to the different features and, and settings and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at what this thing can do on the display. So the first position that um, you'll see the screen on is the um, orange frame channel F. Now, um, if you just press the center button here, it'll load into frame channel. Now, if you don't have a frame channel account, you can watch the last episode, but this is a really cool um, way to get sports scores and the weather and different things like that onto the display. Now, the next one we wanna go into is if we back out using this top button here, that'll back us out. You can come over here, and this is actually gonna show you the statistics of the router. Um, so when you go into this, this is showing you the wireless traffic, the traffic that's over the wired network, and the traffic that's going over the internet. Now, I don't have anything going because people aren't allowed to use the network while I'm shooting DIYs, but um, normally you would see you know, a, you know, traffic going from the wireless to the internet if somebody's surfing wirelessly, or you would see it from the wired to the internet if somebody is using, say, like a desktop PC to play a video game over the internet. And uh, the next one here, this is status. And what this shows you is um, information about um, the router. When you come in to this one, it's gonna show you what firmware version you're using and different things like that. Um, if you back out and you go to the next one, this is going to show you, um, you know, your internet connection, what type it is, your public IP address, things like that. Um, let's back out again. When you come here, this is going to show you um, which ports um, are being used, the, the network ports, and if there is, um, you know, anything connected to it at all. And uh, the next one, of course with little wireless waves is showing you, you know, what type of encryption you have and different things like that on the wireless side. And finally, the last one is um, information on the hard disk that's installed. Now, you can see the little line here. I only have a little bit of information that I have stored on my hard drive. Now, this um, next one here, um, when you come over, is WPS. And this, of course, is for adding um, wireless uh, clients and devices to the router without having to do you know a manual configuration and whenever you go into WPS mode and you start adding a device right here this WPS light is going to light up blue so this is going to start glowing blue so you'll know that that um, that it's in configuration mode this is where you can actually do settings you can do setup on um, like the LCD display, this is for um, when it will go to sleep and it will just go to black. Same with, uh, this is if you want the clock to show up when you're doing a slideshow. And things like um, brightness and um, power saving for when you want the hard drive to shut down after a certain period of time. So let's talk about the pictures a little bit. Um, what I did was I did a lot of um, research for you guys to make it easier on you. And that's, I tested different file formats and I tested different um, resolutions. And what I found was that if you make your pictures 640 by 480, so if you start at 1600 by 1200, the resolution of the LCD display itself is not 1600 by 1200. Um, what it's gonna have to do is it's gonna have to scale that picture. So if you scale it yourself ahead of time, the um, processor doesn't have to do any work and you'll find that the photos um, load a lot faster. So um, if you, the, what I found was 640 by 480 
and it doesn't matter if you do GIF or JPEG, the format itself doesn't really matter as much as the resolution. So go ahead and scale your pictures ahead of time and um, you know everything will load faster. Well, there you have it. That's how you use the uh, buttons on the faceplate of the DIR-685 to control everything from seeing pictures of your friends and family, to getting sports scores and the weather, to checking on your internet connection and how much space is left on your hard drive. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.